finished that little series of watercolours now. Quite fun to do. It was nice to go back to watercolour. And I suspect you'll notice uh, what I was saying about how you get into watercolour, how you get into the flow of it, how you need to get uh, loosened up, how the first ones uh, I felt weren't as good as the later ones, as, as I did just that, loosened up into them and got used to the medium again. Um, by the time I did that last big one I was well into it and could do more now. But in fact I'm going to go back a step again now and go back to the uh, large acrylics. But having loosened up with those watercolours I also want to loosen up with the acrylics more. So here we have a large one again, market scene, before I do um, a, an English town city scene, uh, one of York. Um, French one again, that I took not far away from me in my new place in uh, the cruise now. But this one again I want to go in with it with brush and roller and try and be a lot looser. I really want to be very strident with the textures and colours and fairly abstract. Tightened up towards the end but I don't want to be so tight with this one. Um, I want to really slap some paint about it. Let's see if I can do that. It really is something I feel I need to progress into, which I haven't been doing with these others as quite as much as this one will be. So let's see what we can do. It's quite a complicated one too, with all of these bits of fruit in it, which one could get bogged down or tied up in. So I've got to see how I'm going to treat that, how I'm going to give that, um, that loose treatment um, without getting tied up with trying to do too much drawing into those individual pieces. Right then, off we go. Okay, so I've got the canvas set up, and down here I've got the materials that I require, which will be my palettes of paints, some brushes, filberts again and rounds, the two rollers, and a large um, ordinary wall painting brush with a soft one, a scraper and a palette knife or a painting knife, and of course I've been setting out all my paints afresh. Really now I, most of my paints I buy in these bigger tubs, but I do buy the smaller ones as well. So I should be ready to make a start. I'm not going to discuss with you um, painting all the way through. I'll probably put it onto fast motion a lot of it. Uh, what I am going to do though is um, put some music on in the background for myself so that I can just relax and paint without having to teach on this one. I just want to totally concentrate on what I'm doing and just let go. So share with me and enjoy, I hope. And maybe you'll pick something up and maybe you'll just enjoy it as much as I do of painting it. Here we go then.
Well, I feel I'm on the closing stages of this now. I've had really good fun with this painting, loosened up on it, and uh, I think it might affect the way that I treat some paintings in the future as well, which would be good. And angles, I don't want to get too much detail because it will distract rather than help. A bit more warmth just there, I think, for that face, maybe. So let's have a look for any more darks that I really need to. I think the little watercolour has loosened me up a little bit too because this is the way I was just using the brush strokes with the watercolour, isn't it? Very, very loosely like this. Let's have a close look at it, just how loose it is and the textures, which we can get with the knife and the um, heavy brush work, the big brush. Well, this morning, as I'm still not quite happy with it, I've brought the painting back into the studio. I just want to work on this face area a bit more. I know she is a bit sullen, but uh, somehow that and the arm aren't quite working for me. So I just want to work on that a bit more. Now it's daylight, I can see it better. Let's see. To there, around to that leg, down there, in there, and then we've got the leg here now. We've got to then come back and make that light. Yeah, so we change colours one to another. If we change one thing, we have to change another. Right, back to the legs again, which is why I've still got problems. Around. Do you want to feel? be drawing again. This is murderous. If that's the case, maybe a little bit more cool just here as well. Yeah, I think we're there now. I think we'll leave it at that again. So there we are. Hopefully that's improved and I do prefer her face now to what it was. I think that's a, better, a lot better and also I prefer the way the legs are drawn now or below her rather than part of her rather than being not part of her if you wouldn't be. There we go then. Yeah.